Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming. In this video, we will see yet another example of a time to event analysis data set. So in this video, we will see the time to death, which is called overall survival. So along with the other variables we have seen in the one of the earlier videos on time to event data set, we will also see a variable which captures the sensor or event description. So let us go to the specification. We have been given the specification for start date, param CD, param ADT, sensor, eval and event description. When compared to a BDS data set, the variables which are specific to a time to event data set are start DT, sensor and event description. So let us see the derivation logic provided for each of them. So we have start DT provided, which says populate with the value coming from TRTSDT and for param it says create a parameter named time to death in days for all safety subjects present in ADSL data set. So for additional details, so we are being asked to refer to the logic provided in eval variable. And then we have param CD. So we are being asked to populate the param CD as T to death, which is the short form for time to death. When param is equal to time to death in days. And then we have ADT. So it says for param is equal to time to death in days for subjects who died on the study where ADSL death date is not null, which means the subjects who died on the study can be identified by having not missing death date and death date should be after treatment start date. And for those subjects, we are being asked to populate the ADT value with the value coming from DTHDT, which is the numeric version of a death date. And for the subjects who did not die on the study, so where which can be identified as having death date value as null. For those subjects, we are being asked to populate with the value coming from EOSDT variable of ADSL data set. So EOSDT is nothing but end of study date. Here next we have a sensor variable. Again, here the derivation logic is split for the two cases for the subjects who died on the study and who did not die on the study. For the subjects who died on the study where after treatment start date set to the value of zero. And for the su subjects who did not die on the study, so set to the value of one in sensor variable. So we have ADT populated for both the cases where the subjects who died and the subjects who did not die. But we want to differentiate what does that date indicate. So that can be identified using this sensor variable. Zero indicates that the event happened and one indicates that the record is censored at a particular date value. And then we have eval. So it says set to ADT minus star DT plus one. So which will give us the duration in terms of days. And then we have event description, which the label for which it says event or censoring description. For param is equal to time to death in days. So for the subjects who died on the study after treatment start date, we are being asked to set the event or sensor description as death. So for these subjects, we, are, we say that they have event. For all those subjects, we are populating it with the value present value as death. And then for subjects who did not die on the study, so we are being asked to use the reason, end of study reason to populate event description. So that comes from a variable called DCS reason. DC is for discontinuation, S is for study, and RES is REAS stands for reason. Study discontinuation reason variable we need to use and populate the event description for the subjects who did not die on the study. Now let us move to the programming aspect of this. So here we'll be creating a record for each safety subject present in ADSL data set. So our, my, our input data set for this lesson so was ADSL. So all the variables specified in the specification comes from ADSL data set. So we'll be using this as input to create this lesson's output data set. So here we have ADSL study ID, use of JD, treatment start date. We needed this for start date variable and death date we needed it for our ADT variable and for the subjects who died and for the subjects who did not die we needed EOSDT for ADT so we have it and for event description so for the subjects who died we were manually asked to assign the text death so we can make use of death date and then populate it uh, 
populate the event description and then for the subjects who did not die on the study so we were asked to populate the value from dcs trees variable so we need it for that variable and then in order to identify the safety subjects we needed this flag so we have it here now let us see the programming so here i am creating a data set called adsl01 by reading data from adsl but i am filtering only those subjects who are part of safety set so if we take a quick look at the data here there is one subject who do not belong to safety set and there are six other subjects who are having safety flag is equal to y so we will have a record for each of these six subjects in our final addt data set so now next i am creating data set called tt01 by using the adsl01 data set so as we are creating the rows for time to death so we were asked to uh, populate the param cd as t to death so i am assigning the value t to death for param cd and time to death in days in the param variable and for star dt we were asked to use the value from trts dt so i am assigning it to this one and then we are creating other variables so in all the cases where death dt is not is equal to missing for this will identify the subjects who died on the study so what are we supposed to do so there were multiple variables dependent on this condition the first one was adt so for the subjects who died on the study adt was supposed to come from death rate so i am checking the condition once and then executing multiple statements or creating multiple variables within the do and block so death rate is being assigned to adt for the subjects who died so we indicate we wanted to indicate that uh, with a value of zero in sensor variable so we are doing that here and then for those subjects the event description was uh, asked to be populated as death so we are creating those three variables here otherwise all the uh, when the condition of death dt not is equal to missing is not met so here we were given additional logic for creating these three variables for uh, the subjects who did not die on the study we were asked to use eosdt for adt so we are doing that here and sensor value we were asked to populate as one so we are doing that here and for event description we were asked to populate it with the value from discontinuous study discontinuation reason so we are doing that here on this line of code and then what we are doing here is uh, creating our eval so we are checking our star dt and adt as a non-missing value using n miss function if both of them have a value the n miss function would return zero so we are checking for that condition and then deriving our eval as adt minus star dt plus one so which will give us the duration in terms of days and then we are applying a format of date nine for the newly created date variables of star dt and adt so and finally i am keeping only the required variables in my data set and i am calling it as tte02 so let us take a look at the tte02 data set so here i have all the variables which are specified in the specification are derived u sub cd now we have created a parameter for each of the safety subject present and the parameter is t to death param is time to death in days and this eval is the time duration in days from which uh, from the start of the treatment till the death happened or uh, end of study date so we can identify the subjects who had the event the event is death here so by filtering or checking in the values present in sensor variable zero indicates that the event happened and one indicates that the event did not happen and we have this variable called event description which gives us the description of event or censoring say for example here on row two we have called the subject as censored but what was the reason uh, uh, for the censoring here so the subject completed the study and for the next subject if we see the discontinuation study reason was last was last to follow up when we said that the event did not happen and we are also saying that the event did not happen because the subject last to follow up on 2nd may 2010 and similarly we have other such values populated in event description so th this is how we can program time to death param cd in adtt data set thank you for watching and keep learning